Well, how do we determine the R, the R part? We're going to know how to determine the F part, the drag factor. Take a sled, take an accelerometer, measure the drag factor. But how do we determine the R? Well, the R is the radius of the circle that is formed by the path of the vehicle. So there are the marks up in Michigan. That's the same marks that had the car on top of it before. Geometry 101 says if you have a circle and you want to find its radius, here's what you do. You draw a line across the circle. So picture the police officer taking a tape measure and putting it across the mark. And that's called the chord. C-H-O-R-D, the chord. And then at the middle of the chord, measure how far it is from the chord to the mark. And that's called the midordinate or the middle ordinate. And then those two numbers allow you to calculate the radius of the mark. It's called chord middle ordinate measurement. Straight from ninth grade geometry. So there's a mark on the road. The officer would lay a tape measure across it and measure a chord. At the middle of it, measure the separation, the middle ordinate. This is the collision I showed you before that I said we might have difficulty doing with energy because how would we assign the energies to the right vehicle? But that black vehicle, before it crossed the center line and hit the red one and spun it around, the black vehicle was in a yaw. And Dan and John, this is a Massachusetts case, but I don't know if it's in either of your offices. I, I just, I think it was Ed Bedrosian. Is he in Suffolk? Yes, he is. I think it might have been Ed's case. I mean, it, so I, and it's a while ago. But let's say what, let's look what the scene looks like. There are the vehicles. Black comes across the center line and hits red head on, and they spin around. This is looking back from the direction the black car was coming. The black car was coming around this curve, making a right turn essentially, and lost it. And this is the outside, this is the front outside tire mark from the black car. And can you see right in the bottom of this picture striations right in here? I can see them standing up close, but I don't know if you can. But right down in here, there are really clear striations. And there are in a number of different places. So this is a mark on the road called a yaw mark. And there could be one, two, three, or four of them. In this case, they had one very good one that they used for measurements. That's what the mark looks like. And the critical measurement is how curved it is. How curved it is. And to measure how curved it is, we try to find what circle would it be part of. We make the assumption that it's circular, not a bad assumption. And then we say, what circle would that be a part of? And so we use a little trigonometric equation called the radius equation, where you take a measurement from one part of the mark to another part, as early as you can in the mark, and this is called the chord. A line drawn across a circle is called a chord. And at the middle of the chord, you measure out to the mark itself. And that measurement is called the middle ordinate, or the midordinate. And it's a really very basic geometry equation. In like ninth grade geometry, they probably give this as an assignment. If you have this measurement and this measurement, find the radius of the circle, because it is very straightforward. My friend Jay Hochwater is demonstrating the measurements. At the center of the cord, he's putting a notebook down to get a perpendicular. And then he's going to lay his steel carpenter's tape next to the notebook. So he'll be measuring at the middle of the cord out to the yaw mark itself. And that measurement is the middle ordinate. Once he has everything laid out, he's then going to step back make sure that everything is edge to edge on the yaw mark and that his middle ordinate measurement is a true perpendicular and then he's ready to take his measurements. 
Here's the equation, and I'll have this written again when we need it. It involves taking the chord and squaring it, and then dividing by eight times the middle ordinate, and then adding half the middle ordinate. And that gives you the radius of the circle that this mark is. And I'll, I'll have that written when we need it. Well, here's the officer measuring. He's got the tape measure, and then he's got another tape to measure the middle ordinate. Now, ideally, you should measure the chord as close to the beginning as you can. In other words, the sooner you make your chord and middle ordinate measurement, the closer you'll be to a true speed. Because what's happening to the car all the while it's doing this? Slowing down. The car is going sideways, experiencing friction. In this case, they used a really long chord, and it's, it's way, way, way longer than they needed, and that helps the defendant. The bigger the chord is, the more you're averaging in that slowing behavior. But he got over here the middle ordinate measurement well over a foot for middle ordinate. And you really don't need that big an ordinate to measure it accurately. Four or five inches, three or four inches. But that's really big. So they could easily have put the chord much closer, like here, and had a three or four inch middle ordinate and got a better answer closer to the beginning. But I think they're just being conservative, and it did favor the defendant. There's the middle ordinate, and it looks like it could be like 18 or 19 inches, which is a huge measurement. The reason you want to photograph this measurement, this is the number in all the calculation. This is the number that's sensitive, measuring the middle ordinate. You can't miss much with the 40-foot cord, and you can't miss much with the drag factor that we're going to need. But if this gets to be two or three or four inches and you miss by half an inch, you got a significant amount of error. So this is an important picture to take from the outside of the mark to the midpoint. So here's what John says. We have to identify where the rear tire is on the outside, and that should be where we start our measurements. Essentially saying, measure as early as possible in the yaw because this vehicle is going slightly sideways and it's slowing down. All the while it's moving, it's slowing down. If we want to have the best estimate of the vehicle speed, get as close to the beginning of it as you can. So here are some officers. You see they have a cord, and at the middle they have another tape measure and they're measuring the separation. They have the cord on the outside of the mark, on the other end on the outside of the mark, and measuring to the outside of the mark. It, you have to have a, a continuous circle. It would be wrong to measure from the outside to outside for one tape and then measure to the inside with the other tape. That's not even the same circle anymore. So that's called outside to outside to outside. You could measure inside to inside to inside. It doesn't really matter. Whichever one is most clear to your eye, whichever one you can see best. So the cord is 30 feet, and the middle ordinate is 5 inches. Cord, middle ordinate. Those are the numbers. 6 inches has to be translated into half a foot, because all the units have to be the same for the, for the algebra.